Hi, my name is Bridget and I am administering the depression, anxiety, and stress scale to Emily, um, who is a 19-year-old Temple student and she's relatively healthy. Um, and today is February 22nd, 2018. Um, I'm going to ask you a series of 42 questions from a scale of 0 to 3, how much the statement applies to you, you over the past week. Zero means that it didn't apply to you at all. One means applied to you some degree or some of the time. Two means it applied to you a considerate degree or a good part of the time. And three means it applied to you very much or most of the time. Okay. So I found myself getting upset by quite trivial things. Two. I found I was aware of dryness of my mouth. One. I couldn't seem to experience any positive feeling at all. Zero. I experienced breathing difficulty, for example, excessively rapid breathing, breathlessness, in the absence of physical exertion. Two. I just couldn't seem to get going. One. I tended to overreact to situations. Three. I had a feeling of shakiness, for example, legs going to give away. One. I found it difficult to relax. Two. I found myself in situations that made me so anxious I was most relieved when they ended. One. I found, I felt that I had nothing to look forward to. Zero. I found myself getting upset rather easily. Two. I felt that I was using a lot of nervous energy. One. I felt sad and depressed. One. I found myself getting impatient when I was delayed in any way, for example, lifts, traffic lights, being kept waiting. Two. I had a feeling of faintness. Zero. I had felt that I had lost interest in just about everything. Zero. I felt I wasn't worth much as a person. Two. I felt that I wasn't, that I was rather touchy. Zero. I perspired noticeably, for example, hands sweaty in the absence of high temperatures or physical exertion. Three. I felt scared without any good reason. Two. I felt that life wasn't worthwhile. Zero. I found it hard to wind down. Zero. I found it difficult in swallowing. I couldn't seem to get any enjoyment out of the things I did. Zero. I was aware of the action of my heart in the absence of physical exertion, for example, sense of heart rate, increase, heart missing a beat. One. I felt downhearted and blue. One. I found that I was very irritable. Two. I felt I was close to a pan, close to panic. I found it hard to calm down after something upset me. Two. I feared that I would be thrown by some trivial but unfamiliar task. Zero. I was unable to become enthusiastic about anything. Zero. I found it difficult to tolerate interruptions to what I was doing. One. I was in a state of nervous tension. Zero. I felt I, I thought I was pretty worthless. One. I was intolerant of anything that kept me from getting on with what I was doing. Zero. I felt terrified. Zero. I could see nothing in the future to be hopeful about. Zero. I felt that life was meaningless. Zero. I found myself getting agitated. Two. I was worried about situations in which I might panic and make a fool of myself. Two. I experienced trembling, for example, in the hands. One. I found it difficult to work up the initiative to do things. Zero. So now we're going to pair Emily's score side by side with the template to see which questions correspond to what category. The ones with an S would be for the stress questions, the one with the A would be for the anxiety questions, and the ones with the D would be for the depression questions. So after adding up all of Emily's scores, she got a 20 in stress. Uh, 18 in anxiety and a uh, 6 in depression. Okay. 
So according to the Depression, Anxiety, and Stress Scale, Emily exhibits normal symptoms of depression since she scored a 6, a mod, uh, moderate symptoms in stress since she scored 20, along with severe symptoms of anxiety because she scored 18.